Well, thanks to Jaeger's help, we got all the buckets moved out of here now. These tomatoes have probably grown four or five times the size they were when I planted them a couple weeks ago. And these are all the buckets, all the different peppers. I had ran this wiring system for lights from a previous project and I was going to use it to just give better lighting in here on like a overcast day like today but it's overkill so I'm going to remove that today and what I got to do now is cut the grass in here and take these legs out, these supports and then I'm going to put down landscape fabric and start putting bricks down So we got it cleaned up in here a bit now. Hey Jaeger. The next step we're going to do is we're going to lay down landscaping fabric. So landscape fabrics all laid now and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay some bricks so here's a fail by me a construction build fail I didn't put no supports inside the middle of the garden to kind of keep the middle from blowing out now it's got a it's coming out a little bit after this growing season I'm gonna have to dig up a section in the middle of the garden and put some supports in there so I won't do this no more this is really gonna screw me over when I start putting down my pavers Hi Jaeger. So I'm going to have to cut these tiles to fit. The right thing to do would be to go rent a masonry saw, but to save money I've got myself already a diamond masonry blade. And we'll throw that on the grinder here and start cutting. Here's a Swiss chocolate. Seems to be doing pretty well so far. It's growing nicely. As you can see, we're just starting to get some flowers here. Coming along really well. Here's the Chichen Itza pepper. This is one of the ones I overwintered. It's still happily producing me nice peppers. Here's my Turk's cap. This is another one of the plants that I overwintered. Uh, if you look closely at it, you can see just buds coming all over this thing this thing will be covered with peppers in no time here's my seven pot seven dx i have a couple of these growing he's just starting to flower nicely looking good and healthy so here's my carolina reaper he's going to be moving into the basement come this winter um he's really coming off to a great start Got nice flowers all over the place really nice growth along the stem so here we have one of my boot halokia red ghost uh, peppers this is one of the ones I overwintered I've done a bunch of harvests off them it's just starting to bud again and we're starting to get flowers all over this plant here's my seven pot burgundy I've got a couple of these two or three of these growing this guy will be overwintering in my basement too he's budding everywhere you can see he's already starting to make some peppers. Plants overall healthy looking other than something's been chewing on him. Hopefully I can find the culprit and take care of that. So here's one of my peach habanero plants. I'm growing three or four of these. The best plant out of the bunch will get to spend the winter in my grow tent and continue to thrive. He's looking really good so far. Lots of buds. 
Hopefully this thing will be covered in peppers in no time. So here's one of two Kangstar Lemon Starburst that I've got growing in my greenhouse this year. This one's off to a slow start, but I've been pulling off all the, the buds and encouraging them to grow instead. I'm in no big rush just because of the fact that he's gonna guaranteed going into the greenhouse this winter. I know there's a lot of people in the growing community that are still trying to get these seeds. So I'm going to keep growing these plants out and hopefully I can spread the wealth. So here's the other Kangstar Lemon Starburst I've been growing. He's still a slow grower like the first one and so therefore I've been pulling all the buds off him. Either way, we're not in no rush with him because he'll be moving into the grow tent this winter too. So next up is the APS Jalapeno Orange. The APS stands for Atlantic Pepper Seeds. It's a Canadian based seed distributor. And yeah, you get just basically the same heat as a regular jalapeno, but they're just funky orange color. This plant never really grew that much off the start. This one I've overwintered as well, but he is a very prolific producer. He had lots of really tasty peppers off this guy. So here's my overwintered chocolate butler. He's been a steady producer, but he's never made ton of peppers all at once or really big peppers I just keep growing them hoping that he'll come around for the most part he's otherwise a healthy plant and makes really great tasting peppers I think I'll keep them here's my chocolate scorpion I started this guy about halfway through the winter just got my first harvest of peppers off them as you can see there's still a couple on here that are Almost quite ripe enough, but not quite ready yet. Just covered in flowers. I'm doing really well so far. He's definitely going to be moving to the basement this winter too. Here's my other boot Halokia red that I overwintered. That looks really good and healthy overall. Just got to get to start budding and producing flowers again. And I bet you I'll get a really nice harvest off them this time. really nice trunk on them probably my favorite plant right here so here's one of the, my Borg 9 plants I'm growing no uh, buds showing up on it yet but it's looking pretty good so far overall healthy looking plant so here's my scotch bonnet MOA yellow he's overwintered it's been a great producer they call it an MOA yellow, but for some reason the peppers come out orange. So, I don't know if that's normal. If any of you guys know, please let me know in the comments. You can teach me a thing or two. They end up being kind of like this color here. A little brighter orange when they're fully ripe. Overall, great tasting pepper. This plant's a great producer too. So here's my Rouge Black really love the color of the leaves on this pepper just starting to flower all over the place kind of excited to see what kind of peppers it makes I've never grown these before but overall it's looking pretty healthy here's my seven pot brain strain this plant hasn't exactly exploded yet with peppers but it's been giving me a couple few so far looking really good just needed to blow up with buds and hopefully get covered with peppers so here's my boot Halokia chocolate giant. Nothing giant about these peppers though. Or I haven't been able to grow any big ones anyway. This is about all I really get. But the plant looks healthy. It's constantly budding and producing. Hopefully it'll turn itself around and give me some giant peppers. Here's my seven pot reaper long red. Never grown this pepper before. I'm curious to see what kind of fruit we're going to get off it. Plant looks great. Lots of blossoms on it, lots of buds on it. Can't wait to see when we start getting some peppers. Here's my Bradley's Bahamian. This one I overwintered as well. And these typically, they're very prolific uh, producing peppers. As you can see, this thing's always covered with hundreds of little peppers. They start green like this, then they transition over to like an orange like this, and then they finish with a bright red. 
I harvested this plant earlier today so I didn't leave any red ones on here to show you but this just gives you an idea if you want a pepper that packs a little bit of heat these are nice and tasty and ideal and this thing will grow more than you can pick <laughs> 